Welcome to today's technical corner. Uh, today I'm with Open Mind. I'm going to be joined by Dominic Prinsloo. We're going to be talking about uh, tooling databases, um, specifically themed around turning. Uh, now, Dominic, welcome to the show. Could you maybe explain to us um, some of the some of the areas that you believe that Open Mind offer? Uh, a superior solution when it comes to your database and what people can house uh, their tools in. Morning, Paul. Firstly, thanks for having us. Much appreciated. Yes, um, our turning to our tool store or in the turning environment is, is actually quite nice. Um, the thing is, we've got a thing called uh, Tool Builder that you integrate directly to state models or state files of uh, models that's been provided from your tooling supplies. So you can actually build your tool correctly to what's been given from the suppliers with your inclination angles as well. And then obviously multiple cutting points. So, 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 what, so what we're saying here is that you've got a tool holder, you've got a, you, you've got a, cutting, a cutting edge, but you're using the, the or you're, you're finding different areas of the tool to cut with. Is that what we're saying? And then you're programming those as, essentially as into different uh, you know, tool, tool areas. Yes, Paul, that is 100% correct. Um, what you have, you have the, the model that's been built up within the, within the tool builder and then send it through to the tool store. When you've added in multiple cutting points, it, it gives you different areas that you could cut with the tool. So you can use, for example, you can use a right-hand tool on the main spindle. You can flip it around and put in a second cutting point. Then you rotate it around 180 degrees. So you can use the same tool onto your soft spindle for turning. Okay, so you're, you're getting more out of your tool. That's really what we're saying here, isn't it? Gone are the days where you got one tool for one operation. Um, you're actually, uh, yeah, you're actually making more. So that's not just an advantage from a software perspective. That also means if you've got a, a machine with a turret or a B act or wh whatever it might be, you, you could actually do more operations with less tools as well. Yes, Paul, that is correct. It's, it's not, I like what you say there where you can do more with less tools and that's 100 percent correct because the thing is for an example if i take your high-end molten machines where you've got a b, b axis on there and you can talk say for example you can use a shorter turning tool and obviously say you have to get into an area where you could get collision on the tool you could actually go and add another cutting point in there and tilt the tool even more say from 30 degrees to 45 degrees now all of a sudden you can get into that area where you did get collision so you don't have, any, have, any, have the, to bring in a second tool to do the, um, do the cut. You stick to one tool and with multiple orientations to do, the, do it in, in segments and then join them together. Uh, but what about things like the tool wear though? What if one, one area of the tool wears quicker than another? Then it means you can do uh, you know, less parts because you've got to change that insert maybe and things like that. Does, is that a factor or does the software accommodate for making sure that, that all edges or all areas of cutting, you know, do the same amount of parts? Does that make sense? Do you see the question? Yes, yes, I understand what you mean by that. Um, yes, we do have an area in our package where you can split tool paths. So you can have a specific, specific uh, cutting time on there. So your tool life, so your tool life cutting time is twenty minutes, and you know that every ten minutes you have got an uh, uh, edge that that breaks off, that crack, uh, breaks. Then what you can do, you can put in a ten minute uh, tool life on that tool, and the tool will move back to its own position for you to change the insert or have a look at the insert. Fascinating, fascinating. Um, how, how well? Firstly, how I say new is this, but how how well utilized is it in the UK market? How many people are actually practicing what we're talking about here? And if they are, um, are they therefore not having to buy as uh, machines with as many tool stations on? Are they having to buy, you know, less tooling? Is because uh, they're the areas really of, of, of savings, aren't they? Yes, Paul, that is correct. Um, we do actually have a couple of customers um, who have been working uh, along of late that's uh, up in the north of England and they have been using the uh, split tool uh, on some of their roughing in it and they have told me that they have gained on to life a lot and as well they have reduced some of the amount of tools they used to use on programming parts they have reduced it now to quite significant numbering where they normally have to have like three four tools and they just use two tools 
So is there a possibility then that one particular tool has got a rough in function and a finishing function, for example? One area of the tool does the rough in and the, the, another area does the finish in, vice versa, or yeah, it gives you so much flexibility. Yes, that's correct, Paul. Uh, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's nice to use it on more your round inserts, or as we all know, the button insert. Uh, you, can you can flick the tool around to different cutting points on that insert, yeah. Brilliant. Um, what else is new and up and coming from Open Mind this year, Dominic? Um, in our next release in our 2020.2, by looking at bringing in the HPC, which is our hyper max turning in free axe turning. So this would be a game changer again from just a normal rough on free axe with now actually having to coil in your free axe turning, which I'm looking at, I'm really looking forward to seeing. Yeah, it's fantastic. You really are innovating, aren't you? Uh, uh, and then we see so many more, more and more customers these days um, buying into Open Mind's product. And as we always say, you know, Open Mind is known uh, for how successful you've been on the milling side. But again, now that's the same with turning. So really is for multidiscipline uh, machining, isn't it? Depending or regardless of what machine type you've got. Uh, it's been fascinating. Dominic, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, look forward to catching up with you uh, again soon. That's it for this technical corner. Uh, remember some really key points there. Uh, you can get, you know, using one tool to do various operations. Uh, you need less tools in your, in your turret or on your machine, should we say. And of course you improve or you buy, have to buy less inserts and less tools as a result of that as well. Uh, some fantastic savings to be made. Uh, that's it for today's technical corner.